1984, there lived an old widowed lady by herself in a two-story house who was completely immobile and bounded to her wheelchair. Ever since the mysterious death of her husband, she required the aid of a carer who would visit her daily to help her with everyday tasks. What made it even more difficult was the fact that the two floors of the house were only connected by an old staircase inside. When the old lady needed to move between the two, the carer would have to carry her frail body like an infant up and down the stairs. One day the police received a call from the widow. There had been a murder. Since the police units were scarce at the time, and the murderer had already fled the scene. Only one detective was sent out to conduct the initial crime scene report. He arrived to see the carer's body splayed on the floor, with her vocal cords ripped out and a pool of blood that on the first level of the house, with the old lady atop the staircase in her wheelchair watching him. Still and silently, seemingly in shock. He could immediately rule her out as a suspect due to her inability to move up and down the stairs and because she was trapped up there the time the murder took place. It was similar to the death of her husband many years ago who had suffocated in his sleep on the couch downstairs. The detective put on the gloves took pictures, swabbed it for evidence, and covered the body until the corridor arrived later. All routine business. He scoped the house downstairs for any clues, then asked the old lady if he could look upstairs. She insisted that she was upstairs the whole time, and no one apart from her had been up there th that day. But regardless of this, the detective ascended the staircase to which she hesitated, hastily moved aside. Beyond the staircase, there was a narrow corridor with three closed doors along it. He checked behind each of the doors, the empty bedroom, nothing, the bathroom, nothing. He became anxious as he slowly made his way to the final bedroom where the old lady slept. He opened it and everything looked normal. A bed, a wardrobe, and besides table and a bedside table with a lamp. He checked every wall of the room in horror, as it was not what he discovered, but it was what he didn't discover that made him stop dead in his tracks and slowly reach for his gun in his holster. It was a detail so mirror. It was a detail so minor that they had completely overlooked in the past in the last investigation of the husband's death. There was no phone upstairs. He suddenly heard a noise and as he whipped out his gun and rushed it out of the room, only to find an empty wheelchair atop the stairs. <laughs> 